Avoid the gallery. <laughs> I've said. Be gone. What? I am fearful. Wherefore frowns he thus? Tis his aspect of terror. All's not well. How now, my lord? You desire to know wherefore I sent for you? It is my duty to attend your highness pleasure. Pray you, arise, my good and gracious lord of Canterbury. Come, you and I must walk a turn together. I have news to tell you. Come, come, give me your hand. Ah, my good lord, I grieve at what I speak, and am right sorry to repeat what follows. I have, and most unwillingly of late heard many grievous, I do say, my lord, grievous complaints of you, which, being considered, have moved us and our counsel, that you shall this morning come before us, where I know you cannot with such freedom purge yourself. But that, till further trial on those charges which will require your answer, you must take your patience to you, and be well contented to make your house our tower. You a brother of us, it fits we thus proceed, or else no witness would come against you. I humbly thank your highness, and am right glad to catch this good occasion, most thoroughly to be winnowed, where my chaff and corn shall fly asunder, for I know there's none stands under more calumnious tongues than I myself, poor man. Stand up, good Canterbury. Thy truth and thy integrity is rooted in us, thy friend. Give me thy hand. Stand up. Prithee, let's walk. Now, by my holy dame, what manner of man are you? My lord. I looked you would have given me your petition that I should attain some pains to bring together yourself and your accusers, and to have heard you without endurance further. Most dread liege, the good I stand on is my truth and honesty. If they shall fail, I, with mine enemies, will triumph for my person, which I wear not, being of those virtues vacant. I fear nothing what can be said against me. Know you not how your state stands in the world with the whole world? Your enemies are many, and not small. Their practices must bear the same proportion. And not ever the justice and the truth of the question carries the due the verdict with it. At what ease might corrupt minds procure knaves as corrupt to swear against you? Such things have been done. You are potently opposed, and with a malice of as great size. We knew of better luck. I mean in perjured witness than your master whose minister you are, whilst here he lived upon this naughty earth. Go to! Go to! You take a precipice for no leap of danger, and woo your own destruction. God and your majesty protect mine innocence, so I fall into the trap is laid for me. Be of good cheer. They shall no more prevail than we give way to. Keep comfort to you, and this morning see you do appear before them. If they shall chance in charging you with matters to commit you, the best persuasions to the contrary fail not to use and with what vehemency the occasion shall instruct you. If entreaties will render you no remedy, this ring deliver them, and your appeal to us they make before them. <sighs> Look, the good man weeps. He's honest on mine honour. God's blessed mother, I swear he is true-hearted, and a soul none better in my kingdom. Get you gone, and do as I have bid you. He has strangled his language in his tears. 